Hello everyone and welcome back to Star Wars Knights of the Old Republic 2 The Dark Side playthrough. This is episode 2. Last time we completed the Paragus Mining Facility and we're headed to Telos. So we're going to jump up on the galaxy map and land at Citadel Station only to get arrested. And then um, I don't think being an asshole is going to do us any favours. So it's going to be fun to see <laughs> how it plays out. Let's land on Telo Station. I love the landing cutscenes for each planet, like taking off and landing, because they're, they're so authentically Star Wars in how they're framed, the transitions, the landings, all of it. It's so perfectly Star Wars. I'll never get tired of seeing the landing um, cutscenes in this game. They handled so well. Attention, this is Citadel Station Bay Control, Dock Module 126. Please remain where you are. Lieutenant Dolgren will arrive shortly to meet you. That is all. That is all. If they think we caused the explosion... Uh-oh. Here comes the welcoming party. They may not know what happened, so don't blow it. I'm Lieutenant Gren, Tilo Security Force. I'm under orders to take you into custody in regards to the destruction of the Paragas Mining Facility. Um... We didn't have anything to do with that. That as it may be, the circumstances of your arrival are suspect at best. Due to the nature of the investigation, I have no specific timetable to offer you. In the meantime, your ship and any droids will have to be given over for safekeeping. Droids. Yes, that includes you. You are a droid, so you will be detained. In addition, we will have to take your personal arms and armor until the completion of our inquiry. This is outrageous. You don't have any evidence. You are the only witnesses of the mining facility's destruction. Thus, it is necessary for us to keep you under surveillance until we have a better idea of what happened. I refuse to go along with this. We're leaving. Look around you. Even if you manage to overcome all of us, Bay Control could simply open the MagCon field and shoot you into space. So, let's not do this the hard way. I'll go, but one way or another, you'll pay me for the trouble. Given your position, it would be a good idea if you took a more accommodating tone. My men will relieve you of your arms and armor. Follow me. Tell me I'm not going to jail again. <laughs> Atten and the gang goes to jail again. Hey, and now I know who that is. So Handmaiden was sneaking about in Telos. Yeah. I can't wait to get to know you this playthrough. That's going to be fun. Stealing my ship. We'll be held immediately. <clears throat> Living quarters are being arranged for you and your companions as we speak. Someone will return shortly to escort you to an apartment in residential module 082. A force cage? This is ridiculous. As I said, this is only temporary while other arrangements are made. I'm sorry, but you'll just have to bear with us until then. So be it, but I'll remember this. You better not have anyone impersonating as another guy that's gonna come and assassinate well, me. We might be here for a while. Might as well get comfortable. <laughs> Someone is coming. So this is the last of the Jedi. I must admit, I'm a little disappointed. I like this outfit. Um, when we get out of our miner's uniform, this one looks cool. Let me out of this cage and we'll see how disappointed you are. Doubtful, though at least it appears you have some spirit. The exchange is a bounty on Jedi, you know. You're worth quite a bit of money. The exchange, huh? <laughs> I'm pretty sure some two-bit pistol jockey like yourself isn't one of them. Hey, I'm more than skilled enough to work for the exchange. You bounty hunters couldn't even win a fair fight. You're the cheapest, most worthless mercenary scum in the galaxy. I'd hire a Mandalorian over your filth in a second. No Mandalorian could match my skills. Okay. No Mandalorian could have been clever enough to infiltrate this station. Taking the identity of one of the guards, then... Then what? Overloaded our force cage fields and made it look like an accident? You probably don't even have the guts to fight me. <laughs> Pathetic. Don't think overloading your cages had not occurred to me. You're wanted alive, but I doubt anyone will care as long as I bring them your corpse. Let's get this over with. Come, Jedi. 
It is time to die. Hey, leave her alone. You want to fight? Then try me, if you've got the guts. You have goaded me once, and you shall not do so twice. But I shall dispose of all of you eventually. And an old woman, a fool, and a broken Jedi are no match to my skills. I like that he calls Atten a fool, which is like what Kreia later in the game like always refers to Atten as, as the fool. It's like not the first instance that he is related to as such. Should we start with a bit of horror? Oh, he saved against... No, he didn't. Aha! Get him! <laughs> to the Shadow Realm with you. I am- Ooh! The security camera's up. Mitra's like spinny kick move. Man down! Quick! Call a medic! Alright, Jedi. I want you to back up slowly. Hands <clears throat> in front of you. Into the force cage. Cooperate, and we won't have to gun you down. Come Just... on, Lieutenant. They've already killed- uh, Who is that? Is that Batu Ram? Nice. That my spinny kick move. Impressive. You allowed an assassin to infiltrate your ranks. Rem's no assassin. Batu Rem is on leave. He shouldn't even be on the station. This man isn't him. I'm glad someone noticed that only after he tried to kill me. We've arranged for an apartment in residential module 082. You'll stay there under house arrest until our investigation of the Paragras matter is complete. You'll be under TSF protection. I'll personally clear any visitors to your quarters, and we'll investigate this incident to the best of our ability. At the best of your ability? That's not very inspiring. He just has nothing to say. <laughs> just take me to my quarters. Officer, let Lieutenant Yima a report of this incident. <laughs> She'll look into this. The rest of you come with me. We'll escort you to the apartment in 082 immediately. Where... Everyone knows that we're here and start giving us house calls straight away on our first night on Telos. These will serve as your quarters for the duration of your house arrest. Two officers will be stationed outside at all times. Again, I'll clear any visitors. There won't be another incident. But just to be on the safe side, why don't you leave us a blaster or two? Get out. Let's go. <laughs> all right. Um, this isn't good. We've got to get off this station. Why do we need to leave? What do you think the TSF is going to find at Paragus? That could bring the Sith... You know what? Forget it. As long as we're trapped here, it doesn't matter. What do you think, Kraya? We cannot stay in any one place too long. But our path has brought us here for a reason. I must meditate on this. In the meantime, we should rest. Yeah, you go ahead and meditate. As for me, I could use some sleep. Rest. Hello, please help us with the conflict. You'll soon receive a call from the other person on the other side of this conflict as well. Please don't help them. <laughs> yes. Yes. Very well. And now we can talk about this kind of stuff. Indeed. A Jedi tool and a Sith weapon. It's really interesting knowing Kreia and all that she's about uh, at this point in time, how she wants the death of the Force to occur, and she hates that she ha has come to also rely on it. She's like, maybe it's because I'm an old woman now. It's crazy to know Darth Treya in, uh, in the early game. Then listen to me. There is much weight, much craving attached to such a tiny thing of light. A lightsaber, any weapon, only achieves worth in how it is wielded, in the effort, in the struggle of one who holds it. Such a weapon does not make a Jedi or a Sith, and at times it makes them much, much less than they are. The knowledge has already been imparted to you. Okay. So answering that you wanted power to slaughter your enemies is a dark side point. That's nice. There we go. We're pushing closer into the into the dark side. Ooh, actually, hang on. Do not accept call. I, I forgot that there was an ability to decline them. Hang on. What if we don't accept the call? Maybe we can get back to sleep now. Bruh, you can actually just decline. What? Okay. And then this, hang on. 
You refuse the coal? Interesting. Okay. So we were being called by um, TSF that would put through the Ithorians. We did not accept the call. I was wondering if it was just going to be the same again, but now the ID is Zerka. That's so interesting that you can straight up just refuse the call. I wonder if that means that you skip the entire Zerka Ithorian questline by not getting any, any information on it. I doubt that. But uh, we'll accept the Zerka one because that'll be the dark side choice. Good day. I am B4D4. I am attempting to connect. Um, what does she want? I am sorry, but I do not know. Go ahead. Thank you. Thank you for accepting my call. Okay. Why are you calling? I understand that you were approached by an Athorian earlier. I doubt. Uh, no, I wasn't actually. I hung up that call. <laughs> Go on. I believe you're a person of influence. I'm not asking for your help, though. If you're interested, please visit our offices here in Residential 082. Okay. I'll come by when I can. Excellent. We should get back to bed. Rest. There you go. We'll go help Zerka. Ithorians? Never heard of him. <laughs> Explain something to me. I do not have the years required, nor the desire to indulge you. If she served in the war, well, Jedi are supposed to be tough, capable. Yes, and what are they without the Force? Take the greatest Jedi Knight, strip away the Force, and what remains? They rely on it, depend on it more than they know. Watch as one tries to hold a blaster, as they try to hold a lightsaber, and you will see nothing more than a woman, or a man, a child. But to lose so much, I guess I didn't realize how much they relied on it. Do not be surprised. In many ways, even you are more capable than a Jedi. You could survive where they could not simply because you do not hear the Force as they do. It is irony of a sort, and it is why I tolerate your presence now. But such a loss of ability. For a Jedi, it seems so extreme. She has been gone from war some time. It is conflict that strengthens us, and isolation that weakens us, erodes us. Add to that that she turned away from war, did all that she could to forget it, and the last piece clicks into place. But we have spoken enough of this, and we do her a disservice by not <coughs> speaking of this while she is present. Huh. I have something to say about that dialogue. I that the Talosian government has completed its inspection of what's left of the Paragus facility. It appears that the Harbinger had indeed been present, the logs recovered from the facility's wreckage. As such, you are to be released from house arrest. How long will I have to stay? The sojourn is already en route. Is the Ebonhawk still impounded? The vessel's IND is complete. The Ebonhawk should be transferred from the impound docks by the time you're free to leave. What about my T3 droid? After filling out the paperwork, it'll be transferred with your ship along with <coughs> confiscated weapons and armor. Okay. <laughs> you fucking... <laughs> One of the soldiers backs out. Well, now what? We can't just stick around. We need to find a way off the station. Whether it's the Ebonhawk or some other ship. We could hit Nar Shaddaa, maybe. If you've got people coming after you, it's where you go to get lost in the crowd. Now, what I wanted to talk about, about what Kraya and Atten were just talking about, which is, is really cool, because it talks about um, running away from war, you know, cutting yourself off from the Force, um, not being in battles, isolation, making you weak. Um, and it's been 10 years of exile for uh, Mitra Surik, right? And we're currently watching... We're currently having the Kenobi series uh, on, on Disney Plus right now, which is Kenobi in 10 years at the moment of exile, um, not engaging in any battles, living a normal life, um, being isolated, uh, being weak. The years have made him weak, as Vader said, and he hasn't used the Force. He hasn't fine-tuned any um, lightsaber ability. He buried his lightsaber in the sand. Um, outside of the fact that Kenobi still does have like access to the Force if he so tries to reconnect in with that, Mitra Surik and Kenobi's 10-year exile journey um, are quite similar and they're mirroring each other at the moment. And I, I something that is really amazing 
um, that has been constantly brought up about Kreia in this playthrough is a lot of the things that Kreia says um, really echo into the future of Star Wars, uh, the Star Wars that had already been out by the time this game was out, and Star Wars that has come out after this game as well. How Kreia uh, talks about the Jedi and the Sith, how Kreia talks about the Mandalorians, all of that kind of stuff. It's really interesting to view Kreia's words um, with the perspective of the future that we know, and it's it's really good. It's really good. So, um, listening to Kreia and Atten just talk about uh, the exile um, and you know what what's happened and stuff is Kenobi's going through something much similar, except he didn't go through a Malachor Five event where he had to cut himself off from the Force. He went through Order sixty six and the end of the Clone Wars and retreated from all of it, dealing with uh, internalizing and dealing with all of that guilt and trauma, and pain, and, and failure, um, and we can see how that's manifesting in his character through the show. So I just, I like that uh, comparison that you can actually draw between Kenobi and the Exile. I think it's really cool, actually. Well, there you go. What do you think, Kraya? It is difficult to say. I feel we came to Telos for a reason. Still, there is a chance we might learn of other Jedi here. Well... What do you think? Are the Jedi? I should see if I can find anything out here. It is unlikely, but we shall see. Okay, I got my team. Let's level up Kreia, who can't decide if she wants to be you. in one spot or not. <laughs> okay. <clears throat> Let's level them up. Um, powers for you. I'll give you affliction. Level that up to the next one. Nice. Okay. Our journey towards the dark side is underway. So, arrested. Evan Hawks IND and Zerka calling. So, we'll be helping the Zerka and not aiding the Ithorians. So, it's time to go and explore Telos Station and uh, get through this in a much more efficient way than we did last time. <laughs> Hey, what are you doing in my apartment? Time for us to confront this guy, but as a dark side person, helping myself, what does it look like? You think I'm just going to let you get away with this? And? You're going to stop me? Yes, I will. I'm not going to let you push me around in my own place. Now get out of here before I get the TSF to throw you in jail. I love that he's just like, I won't have you push me around in my own place, uh, but get out of here. I'm not going to take that from you. Why not? You didn't seem to have a problem taking everything else. You're right. I guess I'll take your life, too. What? You are crazy. Oh my god. Okay, fuck. <laughs> dun, 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 dun. Get horrified. Take you down to size. Oh my god. Everyone just fucking ganged up on him. Our psychotic urge is all that drives you. I don't know what even came over me. One second we were just standing there talking, and then... I am not speaking to you, fool. Be silent. There you go. We're influencing our party members because of the bonds we form. He's like, I don't even know what came over me. Interesting. Kreia's mad at us, so this might be losing influence with Kreia by doing this. And what would you have done? I didn't see you holding back. When one of us is committed to battle, then all of us are committed. We must stand together. And what would you have done? I would examine the situation as a whole, all of its ties to the Force, and then decide which string to pull, not sever them all at once. Such crude methods grant you nothing. They inspire fear and respect, or perhaps you are right. Let's say they inspire fear and respect. Perhaps. But not from those who matter. Oh, I grow weary of this. Perhaps time will allow my words to take root, if your common sense will not permit it. Ooh, interesting. Influence gained Atten, influence lost with Kreia. Atten Light was fine with that. Maybe if we said... Maybe if we said perhaps you were right. 
I think that agreeing with Kreia might also get influence gained. So we might be able to do that while maxing out the while maxing out the influence potential. Can we remove party members from at this time? Because that way we can just gain influence. Nice. Unless Kreia is in our apartment, she starts whispering to us or something and goes, What are you doing? And she chimes in, but we'll see. So if I remove Kreia from the party, that way it's only Atten to gain hey, influence with. What are you doing in my apartment? Ooh, which actually makes me wonder if instead of Kreia chiming in, it might be Atten instead who will mention something. This is really cool to see these um, from different perspectives, I think. I think this is um, actually a really neat way to do it. You yeah, now get what? What? Nice, and then Atten will help me with this fight. Nice. What? what yeah, there we go, okay. One minute we're just talking, and then I just lost control. This is cool. This is actually really interesting to, to see when you're before, like, these influence points by doing actions, you can... We can try and mix and match some party members and see who responds to them more appropriately. So I'm frequently quick saving when I'm entering rooms just like in case a situation like this occurs because we're going, we're trying to, this isn't like, oh, I'll just take it as it comes blind playthrough now. This is, we're going to make sure that we can get influence in the right places sort of thing. So I'm um, quick saving often to uh, handle situations like this. So there we go. Um, I didn't see you stopping the attack. Don't worry about it, we had no choice. You all right? Just check the corpse for anything of value and be quiet before I may lead. I didn't see you stopping the attack. I don't have a problem with it. You should just choose your targets a little more carefully and not be so conspicuous about how it's done. Influence gained though. So taking out that dude. I can't remember how that went uh, with the light side of, we were probably scolded by Kreia for something. Or Atom, I don't even know. But there you go. So... Oh yeah, and this is the dancer quest. Interesting. Cool. So, yeah, it's it's interesting to see who you can have in your party and when. Um, and then they can chime in with influence or not. So by doing that act, that loses influence with Kreia, but having Atom in it gains it, and then Kreia is like, oh, I was out of the party for a moment, I just went to the bathroom for a second. Um, I'm none the wiser, so I actually will try and, um, we'll definitely try and get into the habit of doing that, I think, of like, when an influence thing comes up that someone doesn't like, I'll boot them out of the party and have the people that do like it in there. I think that's the best bet. Alright, let's go have this meeting with Zerko because they're nearby. Good day. Good day. Administrative Assistant for Zerka Corporation's Citadel Station Branch. How may I help you? <laughs> Never mind. I'm here to see Jana Lawson. Of course. She has been expecting you. I'll be going now. Okay. Right in. I'll be very interested to see how the Zerka side of this actually pans out, to be honest. Uh, it's going to be really interesting to take different sides just to see how different characters interact with me and how things pan out in the long run. I'm excited. I knew you'd come eventually. I'm confident that we will be able to reach a working agreement satisfactory to both you and I. But where are my manners? On behalf of Zerka Corporation, I would like to be the first to welcome you to Telos. Okay. You mentioned work. What sort of jobs might you have for me? Our primary concern on Citadel Station is the restoration of Telos's surface. The Republic is eager to revitalize Telos as a benchmark for other such efforts in other systems. While a generous amount of credits has been budgeted to Telos, the bumbling of Chodo Hobat and his Athorians has squandered away much of these resources. For a project of this size, judicious planning and thrifty spending of resources is a necessity, something Habat fails to understand. Nonetheless, Zerka remains optimistic. There are many jobs we need assistance with. For someone with your experience, you would be well compensated. Hmm, how do you know about my experience? Very well, what can I do? 
Zerka has been managing the restoration project without the assistance of a droid for some time now. Habat has commandeered the new droid intelligence that was to be delivered to the station. I'd like for you to meet the shipment at Dock Module 126, Shuttle Bay 2, and bring the droid back here before the Athorians foul things up again. Okay. You want me to steal the Athorians droid? What sort of compensation can I... What sort of compensation can I expect? Don't worry. Zerka wouldn't expect you to work unpaid and won't subject you to veiled threats and coercion like Habat. For your help in this matter, you will be paid the sum of 250 credits. Add a few zeros on the end, please. 250 credits? The Ithorians will pay me better than that. You're right. 300 credits would be much more reasonable. Okay. I'll have the droid here right away. Excellent. I will secure credits for your payment immediately. Oh, and here. You might need this to get into the hangar. Payment? Up front? No. No payment up front. You said immediately? You said immediately? Excuse me? Okay. That's fine. So... You've agreed to help General Also, the Zerker Executive on Citadel Station, procuring a valuable droid intelligence. So it's literally just stealing the droid intelligence <laughs> uh, and giving it to Zerker instead of giving it to the... Ithorians, which is perfectly fine. I wonder if this this way allows you to still release uh, B4 and the ast uh, the Astromech um, into the wild. Um, I would say maybe not, because the situations might play out differently, but who knows? Who knows? I'm actually interested... I'm interested to enter the Ithorian compound, because I'm really wondering... Um, I'm really wondering how this will go because I'm pretty sure in the first playthrough when we had Kraya with us, um, it was a conversation that Kraya was like, why are you helping these people with the Ithorians? Funnily enough, hasn't neither of them chimed in with Zerka, but I wonder if they'll chime in here because I think Kraya was the one that was like, ah, oh, maybe Chodo should be helping his own kind, or, you know, something like that, you know, uh, maybe Chodo should leave the exile alone. So I wonder how this will go when we just uh, tell him to get stuffed, essentially. It gladdens me that you came. You did not see fit to visit me in person. I apologize if you took offense to that. Well, that's more like it. What do you know of the problems? Uh, trouble with Zerka? <laughs> yep. Droid intelligence. Was it stolen? Nope. No, I won't help you. This saddens me. Farewell then. If you should ever change your heart, please return. Okay. So there's no way to just... You can just decline and just go, Nah. I ain't gonna help you. No help. It's not a uh, not a not a dark side option to to say no to them though, but they, they do. Oh, forgive me, Chodo, but the human I could feel her suffering. I did not feel it until she stood before us, and then it filled my senses. Have you ever felt such an intensity before? Only once before, the day I came to Telos and strode upon its ashen surface. It's a planet's worth of pain. I do not know how she endures. It is because she has no choice. Perhaps in helping to heal a planet, it will help her become whole again. Now, that piece, that little piece of dialogue hits very differently now that you know everything that has taken place. A planet's worth of pain. Like, that they can even, like, sense and, you know, draw that conclusion. And it's entirely true uh, from Malachor 5, which is, which is crazy, actually. It's wild. I kind of like how that's... Um, how that line is thrown in there, like, very casually, right at the start. There, they're just like, oh yeah, carrying just a, a planet's worth of pain. But why? And how? <laughs> you know what I mean? <laughs> um, let's... I'll go and get my gear back. I think we'll focus on that. Because I don't have anything in my inventory right now, so I don't have any idea what to gauge my current inventory levels at. We'll go and get our equipment, and then get this droid so we can help out Zerka, because it would be the right thing to do, clearly, in their mind. 
Did he want to join Conata de la Rue? Please, I don't want any trouble. It was an accident, I swear. It didn't look like an accident to me or my associate here. Oh no. We can't take his side this time. Not even an apology. What's going on here? This Sulliston here had a few things to say about us that we didn't take to so well. Okay. Easy enough. Just teach him a lesson. That was the plan, Chief. Now why don't you run along? This doesn't involve you. Oops. I mean, ha ha ha! Evil! Evil! <laughs> That's what we're doing here, right? Yeah, he fucking deserved it. Evil! Ah, so you must be the Jedi everyone's been whispering about. No more trouble with the TSF, I hope? You should keep out of matters that don't concern you. I'm all the way over here. <laughs> I may as well be this dude in dialogue. Perhaps you don't know who I am? You seem to be of the opinion that I care. You haven't been on Citadel Station long, have you? Let me introduce myself. I'm Benok, the man in charge of Lopak Slusk's protection. You do know who Lopak Slusk is, don't you? The two gentlemen with me are Matu and Nahata, Slusk's finest men. Other than me, of course. Oh, leave the woman alone, Benok. I bet she'd come out on top if you fought. Now, Luxa, uh, I meant no disrespect. <coughs> Probably Slusk's strongest woman. It's your skin, Benok. Just warning you, Slusk could easily replace you. She's right. Mess with me and you're dead. We were just leaving anyway. Come on. Wise man. Nice. <laughs> I'm just like, I'll never get over, uh, I'll never get over characters leaving the environment, like, and then just going, pathing. Oh, it's great. It brings me such joy. Hello there. Hmm. Hello there. Fresh blood at the cantina. Who are you? Oh, God. Oh, God. My appearance. Ooh. Oh, I'm going to turn into one of them Sith zombies. Oh, this is great. One of my favorite things about, um, one of my favorite things about Fable, the Lost Chapters, and just the Fable series in general, Fable 1 and 2 spe uh, specifically, is the alignment system and the morality system, how you, uh, turn into, like, like, like the literal devil horns or the halo ring above your, um, your head and stuff. Like, I loved how your appear appearance very clearly changed. That took me by surprise there. If you're asking me that beautiful, you're better off not now. Tell she you. thinks I'm beautiful, though. She does think I'm beautiful. Oh, God! The stance change! Oh, my God. I even changed stances. I'm grumpy looking. Holy crap. Damn. Anyone else's alignment changing with me? Atten's is pushing slightly down. Oh, God. Does that mean Atten's appearance will also change? It will, won't it? Oh god. Oh god! I'm looking the worst of it though right now. Um, I do not have any Pazark cards yet, so I can't battle... I can't wager for the... for the slave's life. I'm gonna have to... for the dancer's life, I'm gonna have to... Hey there! I need some Pazark cards. Uh, I could buy them, but also... why would I do that? I'm pretty sure I can give given a deck by someone and I've already forgotten uh, who to get it from. I'll figure that out because I'll I'll do that side quest eventually. The dark side version, naturally. <clears throat> I can do for you. Um this is just Zerka stuff. Yeah. Which I don't think we need to know it. That's not the point. This is she's got her hands in yeah, I don't think we need to talk to him because we're not doing the Ithorian's version. Hasn't benefited from joining. It was one of the darkest days in our history. Nothing. It Look, if it weren't for the Republic, and because we, uh, you perhaps. Uh, this one's going to be interesting too because when we go to Onderon, we'll take um, we'll take the other dude's side instead of Queen Talia as well, so that'll have a different outcome. 
obviously like the best parts of this dark side playthrough are going to come from all of the decisions that uh like come to a head later i think like all of the little things that we're making right now will all come together um at the end of it which is uh which is very exciting all right give me my stuff please welcome to editing i will one off one off i regret to inform you <laughs> what do you mean stolen it seems the ebon hot edit i that is a wait you're s i don't understand i'm sorry how about i wait here until you get me another ship before someone gets hurt there is nothing i can do can i get my possessions back fortunately you will find them in the security lockers. Thank you. Give me my stuff. Uh, who could have taken our Ebon Hawk? Our poor Ebon Hawk. Certainly not an important plot point for later. Alright. We now have everything that we need. Perfect. Now just to check that these are actually all empty and I didn't miss one. Pretty sure I got them all. Yeah. Okay. Nice. Alright. We'll equip our stuff and then we will find out how to recover our Ebon Hawk. Shredo Habit sent me to help deliver the replacement restoration droid. That is strange. Chodo did not send word about you. You'll have to excuse me, but in times like these, I must be certain. Here are my credentials. Ah, yes. I'm sorry for the inconvenience. <laughs> Lie. Chodo Habat. Never knew what was coming for him. Alright, let's open this airlock. Zerka with the fake credentials, though. Let's go. Okay. This is going to go down spectacularly. Give me this droid. I'm glad you're here. I'm the only man the TSF could spare, and frankly, I got a bad feeling about this. Yes, we're all pleased to see you. Excuse me, Master, but it seems we have some additional visitors. Oh, God. Pretty sure I have to take these guys out, so I don't know. Who are you? How did you get in here? Yeah. Da -da -da -da. Easy peasy, Let's dude. I'm grateful for your assistance. That was most terrible. I wonder who could have ordered such a thing. Master, one of the assailants was <coughs> this. Ah, uh, yes. Now it's time for the blaster. Looks as if the blaster has been heavily modified. Of course, uh, I'll get him to Chodo right away. Lie. Excellent. In that case, please follow Mitra Surik to the compound. Got him. Just a bit of a little white lie. You might just get might just get a little bit lost on the, on the way back. You know. I will trust your judgment, Master. Lead the way. Hell yeah. No, I'll be taking you to Zerka Corporation instead. I don't understand. I was just told that I would be taken to the Ethorian compound. Okay. Um, unless you want to be melted down for scrap, you'll come with me, quietly. How dreadful. In that case, I believe I shall accompany you. Nice. It was that easy. It was that easy. Excellent. I see my faith in your abilities was well founded. We'd like to get this droid into service as quickly as possible. Opo Chano? It'll take some time for me to rewire the droid and have it ready for your use, Executive Lawsu. Some time. Don't leave your droids in the hands of this amateur. I can fix it. Well, then, you've proven helpful enough so far. Let's see what you can do. Executive Lawsu, I must protest. We have no idea about her credentials. Your opinion was not asked for, Opo Chano. I'll have no further use for you today. You may go. Do not hesitate to call on me if you require further repairs. Get out of here. It's my repair skills that are good for this task. Alright, I'll have this droid working in no time. Beep beep boop boop boop. 
Greetings, Executive Lorso. How may I be of service? Just plug into the mainframe and get to work. Right away, Executive Lorso. Nailed it. There's our little crazy astromech droid. The one that we now then, the one that we send crazy. Here are the credits agreed upon, and a small bonus for performing the repairs as well. There is another task I would like you to perform for me. Mmm, whatever gets me paid. Do you doubt that I will uphold my part of our agreement? Now, on to business. You proved that you can handle yourself quite well in dealing with the retrieval of the droid intelligence. The next matter of business I would ask of you is much more delicate. When we first set up here on Citadel Station, the exchange was already quite well established. Lopak Slusk had more influence over business matters than the Talosian government. If you know anything about the exchange, then you know that they would not take this well. Slusk is loath to have his hands removed from any business on the station. So, a more direct method will have to be taken. To put it plainly, I want you to kill Lopak Slusk. It will be done. The pay had better be good for that. I realize it won't be an easy task, as Slusk keeps himself well protected. You would be well compensated for it. Any ideas how I get to him then? I have a feeling they won't just let you march into their offices. Laxa is Slusk's second. She spends little time in the exchange offices, though, preferring the cantina in the urban module. Alright. I'll do it. Good. I will be happy to continue our working relationship. Just hire me, the hit lady, in my fucking oh, aggressive stance. Let's go. Getting my dark side points. Okay. So you just get to see the astromech in there briefly, but you don't get to do anything about it, which is not surprising. Okay. So we can do the... Oh, and this one, <laughs> this is going to be funny, because this is the whole black market thing. And we accidentally did the dark side option of this in the first playthrough before, um, you know, reloading and doing it the correct way because I figured out how to do it properly. But now <laughs> I'll be able to do it again, uh, but properly as the as the dark side version this time. Okay, uh, so we can go ask Gren about that and then also find a way into the exchange by talking to Luxa. And then we'll see how that goes as well with the light and dark side um, options of those two. All right, because uh, this is going to be a potential. Um, actually, we'll see how this goes. I was like, because last time I think we did the dark side choice, but we kind of ruined his chances at things. I'm just wondering if this will be a if this will be an influence thing for them to respond to. Luke has sent me to collect your debt on the exchange. You've had, uh, look, I need to pay your debt to Luxa or kill you. I don't have a choice. Because if I don't, she will not get me a meeting with Lopak Slusk. You would kill me for that? Then I would just have to kill you. Yeah, if, if we're going to kill... If we're going to kill... <laughs> Kreia will probably chime in with her... Um, is, are you driven by psychotic urges? But Atten seemingly is okay with it, so we'll keep Atten in our party. I would just have to kill you. I cannot believe you would kill me for so small a thing. <laughs> you should have known better than to get entangled with the exchange. You think I indebted myself to them by choice? I had no other options. You are a terrible human. Hiya! Let's go. Atten, quick! Kill him! And you don't even know why you're doing it. Time to take you down to size. Good thing we got the drop on him before he knew what was happening. Oh, nice. He like straight up. It, it was just a conversation influence gain. Interesting. So that's that's two influences gained with Atten. Nice. It's good to know. And then we'll put Kraya back in the party. Just remove her for a brief moment so we don't lose influence with her. <laughs> Time for us to go into the exchange and have this meeting. You have no business with the exchange. <laughs> Luke's has sent me. Hope you know what you're getting into, human. And out he goes. 
All right, let's see how we go with the dark, the dark side version of this. I'm terribly sorry, but there must be some sort of mistake. Persuade. Just open that door and get out of my way. We'll do persuade. Well, if... Very well. Mitra Surik. Excuse me. Lopax Lusk's appointment has arrived. There you are. That's what I thought. This is going differently. I'm not being attacked. Interesting. You've got a lot of nerve coming here, Jedi, with the bounty we've got on your kind. What do you want? Luke's has sent me to kill you. Well, should better hope you succeed. I've grown wary of that pink tart's constant shrilling and plotting. Don't worry, I will. Yes, yes, very melodramatic. Enough of this. Killer and anyone with a... With pleasure. Let's go. <laughs> We're straight up here, just... For murder! Know where that came from? We're here for murder. More where that came from? Focus. Ah. Nice. Well, that was easy. Oh yeah, I forget the Gamorians are with um, the Gamorians are with uh, Luxo, aren't they? That's why they didn't attack. Luxus said you were strong. I will get you inside. We will see how strong you are, boss. Matu is here with Kubus from the door. You want to see him now? Yes, I will send him. <laughs> Psych. What? Whoever let you get back here better be dead, or they'll be wishing they were when my droids are through with you. <laughs> Boop. Whoa, that came from. You tried. You've handled yourself well getting this far, but you should think things over carefully. I can be a very valuable ally. Just what is it you want? To join the exchange? Money? You. Dead. Really? All this trouble just for that? Ah, it seems we have some visitors. I was wondering when you show up, Luxo. Slusk. Slusk. I assume this was all you're doing? I may have had a hand in this, yes. I suppose I should have known. You always were an ambitious one. Enough with that, though. On to the business at hand. I don't think it's possible that all of us will be leaving this room alive. Oh god, hang on. I accidentally pressed something. Um, I don't think so, Slusk, but don't worry. I'll be killing you both. Ha, huh, you think you can kill the leaders of the exchange that easily? Yes, I can. Start with a little bit of disabled turret action. Start with a little bit of destroy turret. Atten's having a great having a great nap. He's just like, look, let me sit this one out. More where that came from. Atten, you're all good, buddy. You got this. You down to size. This shall not stop us for long. Oh, he's already fine with his health. That's fine. I hear you. Maybe Nar Shada isn't such a good idea after all. Changed your mind, Atten? Did we just see what happened? The Exchange is one of the most powerful groups on the Smuggler's Moon. If this Goto wants you so badly, it'd probably be a good idea not to show up on his doorstep, wouldn't you say? Not to mention, I'm sure Lopak Slusk has friends on Nar Shada that won't be happy to hear he's gone. This was the conversation that pushed me away from going to Nashada first. Because I was like, oh yeah, makes sense. We'll avoid danger and we'll go somewhere that, like, that seems like it could be a bit more peaceful, like Dantooine. You know? But we're going to change the order this time. I think uh, what we're going to do is we're going to go Nashada, Onderon, uh, Dantooine, and then Karaban. 
Okay. You're as much a part of this as I am. Yeah, I just can't help getting into trouble when you're around. Yeah, you're right. We'll cross that bridge when we get to it. Okay. Nice. Well, that's the exchange done. Get some weapons from these bad boys. Um, and then we will... Move on with our lives. Okay, so that's the exchange stuff done. Then we just need to go back to Lawso and tell her everything's all said and done. Um, so by entering the Zerka offices, we are fighting immediately. For for, for some for some reason. Why are we being attacked? Where would that come from? <laughs> so going up against all the mercenaries that are in here. I'm supposed to be Channel also Zerka is awaiting word from you about your success. Why are we cleansing this place, or is this the exchange? Is this the exchange that have just like holed up in here for some reason? But all, all the mercenaries are, that we're out here are here. This will be interesting if it's stuff that I'm misremembering from. Um, I can't. I don't think this happened in the first playthrough. I remember these mercenaries being here for a while. Hey, what the fuck is going on? Well, I guess we'll just kill him. Oh, there was a Zerka dude dead on the floor. Supposed to use healing, not battle meditation, but that's that's fine, I guess. This shall not stop Be us for so. You're early on in a position that takes up a negative view. To our Here we go. We're not asking for much. If you agree to our terms, we'll make sure that Zerka never even hears of this. I will not be badgered by you, sir. We have some visitors. Ah. Oh. There you are. I was wondering when you'd arrive. I'm disappointed, Lorso. In the Let's end, this. this was the best that you could do? Ah, well. I always was one for aggressive negotiations. Okay. Fucking Krayer and Atten fighting in the background while I'm just standing there. Interesting. So Zerka, like, turned against... Um... Also, like you will find, we'll pretend this never happened. Fallen. This shall not stop us for long. Oops. These guys are pretty tough. Okay, well we're gonna go with Master Flurry at this point. Let's just go for Master Flurry immediately. 
Um, unlock night speed. Oh, uh, I've got two. So we'll also go for force lightning. Except. God, I didn't even mean to do that attack. Do the master flurry, please. Say the word. God. Oh god, it did it fucking so inconvenient for there to be a an attack icon right where I wanted to click on my own character's health. I guess Master Flurry is not working out for me, is it? Uh, uh, hello? Um, god damn. I, uh, didn't anticipate how that was gonna go, and I was like, oh, okay, I'll just, I should be fine. No shields, no prep or anything. Silly me. I didn't think it was just, it was like immediately like, oh, that's actually quite challenging. There you go. God damn. I had my reservations about some of these mercenaries, but I had hoped that CSD would be able to keep them in line. It appears that I was wrong. I believe some sort of payment would be in order for taking care of this problem for you. Of course. I understand the importance of keeping a valuable asset like yourself happy. You are also welcome to anything found on the mercenaries' bodies as your own. Now, if you'll excuse me, this unfortunate turn of events has generated quite a bit more work for me, and I should be getting to it. So the mercenaries turned against her. Interesting that completing this didn't result in any, like, dark side points or anything like that. I do find that curious. But that's done, so you've ensured the exchange... Oh, hang on. Welcome back. There we go. So this is a separate thing. I've taken care of the exchange. Good. I'll be sure to send some of my men in to make sure they don't have the opportunity to reorganize. I mean, there are, we, I guess I just killed them all if you're talking about the mercenaries. <laughs> I've done your dirty work for you. Now where's my shuttle? Yes, of course. I will provide a shuttle for you to land on the planet's surface as per our agreement. The shuttle will be arriving shortly in Docking Bay 3, Dock Module 126. I have informed Bay Control that you are on your way. Again, Zerka thanks you for your help, and hopes that we may continue our working relationship in the future. <laughs> so smiley. Dude, Bay Control. There's, there's gonna be a Bay Control. A troll made out of bacon. Alright. Zerka employees have survived. Mercenaries are dead. Um, and then... That's it. Outside of just the... Outside of just the bonus missions, which I can return to pretty much at any time, we're going down to the surface! Alright, so we're ready to take the Zerka shuttle down to the surface on Telos, and might I add that... Uh, <laughs> Mitra and Atom are looking as old as Kreia are with uh, our plunge into the dark side. Look at these look at these character models and the portraits as well. Look at Atten. Atten is so hungover from the dark side right now. This is insane. <laughs> I completed some side quests. We ran through ones that we've done um, already uh, for dark side points and there was no influence moments there. Um, but Atten is certainly being influenced uh, to the dark side, whether we want it or not. Um, so it's now time to yes. head on down to the planet's surface for a crash landing and a meeting with Bayodur, who we're unfortunately also going to influence <laughs> in a negative way. He's just like fucking just chilling on the planet and we're just going to be like, hey man, want to join the dark side? It's fun. There's dark side stuff happening. 
All right, take the freighter to Restoration Zone 0031. We out of here. This is Admiral Seed of the Sojourn. Welcome to Telos, Admiral. This is Lieutenant Grant of the Telos Security Force. We've been expecting you for some time now. We were unavoidably detained on our way here. I hope it hasn't caused too large of a problem. Only a minor inconvenience, Admiral. We were happy to be of assistance. I think you'll be less happy when you hear what I have to say next, Admiral. What is it? A witness from the Paragus Incident escaped the station. We're not sure how she managed it, but we're currently trying to recover her. I see. Don't concern yourself with it too much, Lieutenant. The Republic had decided to not detain the Exile anyways. The Exile? The Exile? Then, however, I expect that these security failings will be seen to and fixed, Lieutenant. We're on them right now, Admiral. I'm uploading your approach vector to you now. Gren out. Nice. It's cool to see us going down with uh, with Zerka instead of uh, the TSF this time. Well, hang on. I don't think it was the TSF last time either, was it? Can't even remember how we got down because we escaped without the TSF knowing. <laughs> so, yes. Oh, it was the Athorians, obviously. Yeah, the Athorians getting us down. Duh. Of course. Everyone hold on tight. We should be putting down in a few seconds. Well, unless we get shot to pieces. Grab onto something. This is about to get rough real fast. God, the cut is so fast. It's hilarious. She's going down! All things considered, another happy landing, you know? There he is! Good to have you back, General. My head. Feels like I've been ripped in half. Easy now. You survived one spectacular crash. But it's only fair. I owe you more than one, General. What are you talking about? You must be in shock from the crash. Too bad she's not a droid, huh? We can't all be that lucky. I'll humor you, General. I was one of the Iridonian Mechanic Corps that was at Malachor. Bayadur. I can see how you'd forget me, being that I was the only one. <laughs> I think I might recall you. Don't think too hard. We all went through some tough times after Malachor. Guess that's one thing we've got better than droids. But then you give them a memory wipe and they forget for good. How are the others? They'll be fine. The pilot's more or less unharmed, and the old lady, well, she's tougher than she looks. You know, I never thought I'd see you again, General. So I have to ask, just what are you doing here? What are you doing here? Uh, I was told I might be able to find my ship here. Well, if your ship's in as bad shape as this one, I don't think you're going to have much luck. <clears throat> well, this is familiar. Feels like my last time on Telos. Crashed the shuttle that time, too? No, Pazak. That was not the most pleasant landing I've endured. Next time we should perhaps seek out a more reputable pilot. You're welcome, Kreia. God, you look at Atten's face. Pilot, we could have hit the shield wall or one of those rock faces. Yes, our current situation is a Evil! <laughs> Evil! We should get out of here before Zerka's mercs show up. They're probably already on their way. What? Why? We need to find our ship. But we don't have any idea where to look for the Ebonhawk. I can help you find it. I have access to the shield network. I came hoping to repair whatever damage your shuttle took, but not even I can fix that wreck. Let's get going. That's the plan. Alright. Bayodur has joined the party. Um, we're going to have Bayodur instead of Kreia. So we're going to have Bayodur and Atten in the party. Oops. Yes. And Bayodur is about to get evil! Let's level him up. Repulsor Strike. Let's give him his lovely skills. 
Attributes, intelligence. Uh, gotta get it up. It's crazy how how much of a skill point character Beodur is, like insanely. <laughs> Especially because you want to upgrade him so obviously the he doesn't have an odd number on an attribute, so it gives him even more um, in terms of what he needs to do. <laughs> um, let's go with... Um, what's offhanded again? Two-hand... Two uh, being... Unarmed is a one-armed thing, isn't it? Single one-handed weapon when using unarmed combat, yeah. Yeah. So this is Beodur's level up sesh. Perfect. Okay, now we gotta equip him, so we'll keep him... Let's see... You can take those off, because you don't even need those. You can have them. Um, why not? It's always the... It's always got to be the... <laughs> uh, it's always got to be... The, the targeting visor. Got to make sure that you blind your characters. So you can never see their eyes when you talk to them. Okay, perfect. Wonderful. What an appearance. Okay. Say the word. So, Beodur is with us. Now we need to find out opportunities to influence him more in this playthrough, because uh, we'll be focusing on him over other characters that we've already focused on. And then turning him into a dark side zombie. <laughs> so let's get to it. Alright. Talk to work. this lovely gentleman at last! Oh, Someone else! Are you part of the rescue team? We've worked our way through the whole surface and through this lovely base, getting annihilated by droids. And now I believe that this is a... Because this is like, rescue this dude or not. So we'll have to see how Beodur and Atten like this one. Are you the rescue team? No. Go one. I'm part of the first Zerka salvage team. I hid here when the turrets and droids went online. I haven't been able to reach anyone. You. You're here to get us out of here, yeah? Why would I waste my time? Look at my gang. Why would I waste my time? I've got some decent salvage. You could have that. Mm, yeah, but I could just take that now. Please, just help me out. Why don't I just help myself to whatever you've got? You're insane. Get away from me. I was wondering why there was no dark side points there. It was because it was like going onto that dude, I suppose. Oh! Oh! Okay. <laughs> I was like, okay. Not bad. The Ravager. Hell yeah, okay. So I've hit the dark side. I've hit the dark side threshold. So we're getting the scene with uh, Nihilus and Visus. And we managed to get it while we're on Telos. There you go. Let's see this cutscene play out in different, uh, through different eyes now. Visa's in her chamber. They have sensed the dark side ripple in the force through me. So let's hear some of uh, Nihilus's great a a speech. <laughs> He's so powerful, he doesn't need words. He communicates through the Force itself. It was difficult to make out, my lord. At first it was such a quiet thing. I did not notice it. But now I wonder as if it has always been there. I merely could not hear it before. The sound built so slowly. Yet when you listen for it, you can make out the strains, even over the background life of the universe. I think his design does look amazing. Like, that mask is so sick. You feel it is a... You... You are the darkness in which all life dies, my lord. 
All life exists to feed your power. And my life. My life is yours. Except for when I give it to the exile. <laughs> Let me die. So I have to remember, ignore Visus until I build up all of my uh, influence with Handmaiden, and then we'll also get our influence up with Visus after I can turn her to the dark side. Bring it to you. Even more dark side than Nihilus ever could. <laughs> I will leave at once, my lord. Even if he did continue to speak like that, maybe if, like, it's clear that four sensitives can understand what he's saying, so I think it would be great if there were still subtitles. <laughs> Instead, he's relegated to being like a Wookiee. Everyone just understands him in universe, uh, but we don't. Get him! Everyone Get his salvage! Kill him! Kill the Zerka salvage crew! Never should have come here! We have seen much during the war. Is it your wish to continue causing such suffering? Ooh, here we go. So this is Bay this is a Bayo Der encounter with killing. Um This might be an influence lost with Bayo Der, so I might need to kick him out of the party. <laughs> I may need to kick him out of the party. Um then why didn't you stop the attack? As always, General, when you lead, I shall follow. But it is only because we have been through so much together. Yes. Okay. <laughs> I will restart then. So we can get that influence not lost. I just realized we can't take Bayodir out of our party in this segment. So this is actually really interesting. So if we want to do Dark Side here and get Dark Side points. Uh, you have to lose influence with Bayo de to navigate it. Um, so, what if we just knock out Bayo de in combat so then he doesn't witness the event? Can you do that too? And Atten doesn't have any commentary on um, the killing. It's interesting. We can. I, actually, no. We can do the dark side option. We just if we just don't kill him, we just if we just don't kill him, then Beodur says nothing. So actually, I think it's that's fine. Um. So we get dark side points, and then it triggers the the cutscene. Um, and then as long as we just don't kill the guy, Beodur won't be like oh what are we what are we doing so i think that's fine we can still gain the dark side points and just not do the influence i suppose but then if we help if we help the zerka person would that then gain influence oh with Beodur? it's so hard to try and make all the correct decisions every single time <laughs> All right, well, that's that all completed. Time to take the shuttle to the shielded mesa in Telos's polar region. Let's get out of here. We completed the underground section, the underground base on the surface of Telos. Time to go and encounter some HKs on a very weirdly placed, not at all secret Jedi base. We have arrived too late. The target has invaded us. We must pursue it. Observation. They have likely escaped aboard the orbital shuttle that has been docked here. The Bay Control computer likely will have a record of their departure. Query. Have you discovered anything about the shuttle's course? Answer. I have managed to track the shuttle's movement across the shield network. However, the shield network does not stretch over the polar region, which was the shuttle's apparent destination. Statement. Dispatch a unit to the polar region with the last known coordinates and approximate path of the shuttle. They will not escape us again. Are they like, find them approximately? <laughs> well, this can't be any worse than last time. So that's the hole in the shield network, huh? Doesn't look like much to me. Find them approximately. <laughs> yes, this exact, this exact structure. 
I just find I just find it hilarious that um, this part of the game has two crash landings on the same planet so close to one another. You gotta be kidding me! It's not my fault. <laughs> it's so good. Just Atten being like, well, "You gotta be kidding me!" <laughs> oh, it's it's fucking hilarious. I love it so much. Just the same shuttle as well. This is just <laughs> the same t style, type of shuttle. Egotistic praise. Oh, An man. excellent shot. Even with the prevailing winds, I couldn't have done it better myself. Lovely. Field assessment. I picked up on the heat forms of the Jedi and her allies. Activate the mines and prime the self-destruct sequences. Not if I have anything to say about it. statement. Oh, Jedi, it is good to see you intact. We were concerned that shooting down your shuttle would damage you irreparably. Quick clarification. But now that we have found you, we hope that we can facilitate communications. Unnecessary... And put an end to hostilities. And put an end to hostilities. Theodore, where are you? Um, there we go. Now, this is where we get dialogue related to the factory. That's going to be fun. Destroying one of you was easy. Wiping out three of you might cause me to break a sweat. Let's go. Destroy droid, baby. Nice. That's good. Atten's chillin', he's fine. Nice. Fallen. I will never get over the the HK's like hurt, getting hurt like sound. Oh! <laughs> so silly. Dude. Failing, master. Oh. Nailed it. Control cluster. Ooh, it's gonna be really fun to piece HK together and have him in our team for dark side stuff. Look, I didn't want to say anything, but you forced my hand. I've heard about the Force and what it does to people who can't control it, or themselves. And it shows in everything you do, and in your face. And in my face. He's really just like, hey man, you look awful. Um, I am in control more than ever. That's what you think. Trust me, there's a reason you're changing. It's because it's corrupting you. I can't help but feel it. All of us can. Whatever that witch is doing to you, she's dragging you down into whatever hole she crawled out of. Wow. She is my creature, not the other way around? Dude, the dark side dialogue is bizarre. Are you implying I cannot control her? She has no influence over me. She is my creature, not the other way around. Well, you're starting to get creases. Almost thought you were that old witch for a second. Oh my god, dude. Alright, what did you want to know? He just chimes in and is like, hey man, you look awful. <laughs> you have grown strong in the Force. I can feel its mark upon you. Be warned. The highest of mysteries cannot be found by falling to the dark side. It is a quick path, and often a short one. But I sense a disquiet in you, an unrest. Such things will erode your strength. This is awesome. This is really cool because now that we've switched to dark side, we're getting a whole different side of characters interacting with us, and I love that so much. Why do people in our journey trouble me with these indignities, these fetching missions, this servant work? They sense the trappings of power and decision upon you. Their lives are static, trapped, and they see one who carries no such chains. In begging for aid, they show their weakness and deserve death. <laughs> wow. Well, Kreia's opinion is that by stepping in to aid and help them 
and assist them in what they need, it removes them from the chance to do it themselves or to improve or to get better, you know, because we, we take that uh, we take that away from them, you know? They are fools, and dealing with them is a waste of time. This fetch and carry, the servant workers beneath me. Ah, then you have learnt nothing. From such small things, from such critical points, the universe and its masses <laughs> may be moved. That is why you must be careful in all that you do, and in every choice you make. Aiding them gives you strength by taking on their challenges. But weakens them. But weakens them. If that is your choice, then use their dependency, feed upon it, until you have exhausted them. Then leave them. And I would view the ones you travel with much the same way. Very, very interesting here. When we, like, I feel like whether you're light side or dark side and the choices you make and how you describe things, Kreia will always still challenge your perspective. Um, she doesn't change her character. Like, she still echoes those things that she has where it's like you uh, helping people, like, weakens them but strengthens you. Do that if you wish. When we actually did that in the light side playthrough, she's talking about it and challenging us doing that so it feels like she's she does she just gives us the the different perspective both times on how to handle it it's it's a very interesting character to have in dialogue that challenges you and your choices constantly just even if you're playing the game on a different side they are loyal companions and i will not harm them so you may think but it will be best to strike first. Your allies are allies by circumstance, and they will not hesitate to do the same to you if you continue down your path. Ooh, that was an influence lost with Kreia. Hmm. But light side points gained. Bizarre. How bizarre. I'm wondering if there's a way to have that conversation and gain influence. It's an it's it's it really is interesting having the the dialogue. It's essentially like a dialogue battle in a sense with Kreia sometimes in our our view versus hers, and how some of those things will lead to a gain in influence, but others will uh, will lose influence. It almost makes me feel like I should just uh, just do nothing but lose influence with with Kreia because I think Kreia. Judging by the party screen, Kreia will stay in the middle, no matter what, and f not be influenced by us. That you may as well just have Kreia's influence just go down to the point where it'll still unlock those those options. So maybe I'll just maybe I'll just stick with that. I've removed Kreia from the party to avoid some influence being lost, but now I'm just kind of at a point where I think it's it's easier to lose influence with Kreia than it is to to gain it at this point so maybe I'll just continue to do that and and unlock the dialogue options that way and then raise it with other characters I feels like that might be the uh, the best course feels like that might be the best course of action like genuinely <laughs> let's do a level up while we're here though master force focus all right now what I want to do here uh, is I think I'm going to do um, finesse with melee weapons because our dex is much higher. So I would like to increase my chance to hit <laughs> um, most definitely. So we'll put that in there. And then powers. Force channel when I can have two powers. So there's the improved heal and destroy droid for sure. Nice. That's a good level up. Um, Kreia... Just your standard level up powers um, will give you also night speed. Lovely. Okay. I hear you. Yeah, Atten's not enjoying the fact that we're all looking very wrinkly and evil <laughs> at the at the moment. Um, yeah, I'm trying to gain influence with it's hard when. Characters that you want to gain influence with, but being on a dark side playthrough is pretty difficult. That is pretty difficult. So it almost makes me feel like I should just 
for characters that seem to be more in like a light side view of things and don't like you being evil, we may as well just lose influence with them, like Beodur, to unlock those. I don't know. It's hard. It's hard. Beodur looked as if he was knocked unconscious by the explosion. If you can find refuge, then you should recover in time. Yeah. I sort of accept the fact that because this game is built on such replayability and choice to like uh, do things in so many different ways that it would be an, ex an exhaustive effort to try and like max everything out in a way that could be like the most efficient ever so uh, there are there are still going to be things that I'm probably not able to pursue and achieve um, in this playthrough but it's certainly already taking such a different turn that's really great like having characters just being on the dark side uh, in general and then being a female character changes enough to make this such a new experience compared to the first playthrough um, and then exploring things with different characters as well like when we get Handmaiden which will be soon uh, is also going to be uh, very exciting so at least there are like there are positives to still doing this playthrough even if there will be things that are missed um, because of because of it There we go. We'll leave, we'll just leave out and outside so we can just get dragged in by uh, <laughs> by the handmaidens. Now this is going to be interesting. A dark side encounter with Atrus is going to be really uh, cool to to go through. Actually, lay down your weapons, and you shall not be harmed. Okay. Take my weapons, and you die. I will not warn you again. Drop your weapons, or we shall take them from you. Do as they say. I sense people come to no harm. No one disarms me. The loss of your weapons shall be a temporary thing only, and it is necessary. There is much to be gained here without violence. We must be pissing off Kreia so much by just being like some loose dark side cannon. Just like, I can't control this one. I'll play along for now. Why is it that everywhere we go, I end up in a cell? I mean, why did they lock us up? It is a training ground. What? This ice hole? Yes. It bears the semblance of an academy. You've got to be joking. It is a place hidden from the galaxy, like the academy on Dantooine. Atris? It's none of your concern. <laughs> well, the sooner we're out of here, the better. And what is it about this place that causes you such fear? What do you mean? We're in the middle of a bunch of Jedi. No, I do not. Not in the way you seem to. What? What are you doing? Stop struggling. Stop! Ah, with the fear is mingled guilt. You surprise me. Do not worry, Atten. You can't tell her. Please. Think less of you. I we all wage war with the past. What? There are those who wage war and those who follow them. You know how important this woman we travel with is. And if I refuse? You will not. You fear the Jedi, and rightly so. But whatever fear you hold of the Jedi, know that if you disobey me, that my punishment will make you beg for the death that has long hounded you. Kreia. Fear from your mind. I don't know how you became such a manipulative witch, but why a vicious old scowl like yourself would even bother with me is a bigger mystery. No game of Dejaric can be won without pawns, and you are a slippery one. Your thoughts difficult for even one such as I to read. Your spirit, as diseased as it is, refuses to allow you to give up, no matter what threats you face. And what I feel you have crossed our path for a reason. Fine. I'll be your pawn. But I still think you've got the wrong man. Perhaps. But someone has to fly the ship, and the Force is a hard thing to predict. Our path brought us here for a reason. Uh, more Jedi speak. No, I've wasted enough time with you. Sleep, murderer, and be silent. Sleep. A critical moment approaches. A critical moment approaches. God, Kray is so good. All right, let's go and have a conversation with Atrus. This is our critical moment. We're just gonna be a fucking dark side asshole. Let's go. 
I did not expect to see you again after the day of your sentencing. I thought you had taken the Exile's path, wandering the galaxy. Yet you have returned. Why? Let's have a look. Oh god, I want my property, my slaves, and my ship returned. God, some of this dialogue is ridiculous. Revenge, you cast me out. Now I've returned. Indeed. And how do you plan to seek your revenge on me? Or do you intend to take revenge on all the council as well? I'll kill every Jedi I can find. So, it is as I suspected. You have already done enough. The dead Jedi, the murders, you have much to answer for, monster. Murders? I have killed no Jedi, yet. Jedi across the galaxy have been slain or have vanished. A darkness devours them, a new force shrouded by the power of the dark side. You are allied with them, as I suspected. You shall answer for your crimes after I tear the knowledge of this new threat from you. Try it, and you'll regret it. It was too much to hope that you may have come here to finally admit the Council was right. Dude, she does get the double-bladed red lightsaber. How fucking funny is that? That's so cool, but so odd. So she just straight up gets whatever lightsaber that you go through with Atten. So my double-bladed red lightsaber is now hers. I always find that really funny. It's like, get your own lightsaber, Atrus. Like, why just steal mine? You in love with me or something? Yes, you are. <laughs> but come on. <laughs> How is any one of your handmaidens going to see your saber and go, Mmm, yes, the Jedi. <laughs> That's so cool, though. I'm taking my ship back. Try to stop me and you'll regret it. Take your ship, then. I don't care where you go. Just leave this place. Leave Telos. We shall remove her mistress. Damn, what an interesting conversation it goes when us. when you just decide to be like full negative. Damn. So you don't even have like a uh, a debate on the war or anything like that. Are you all right, mistress? The exile reminded me of something. I had forgotten. Forgive me, mistress, but I must ask. The exile. I've never seen another affect you so strongly. Was she important to you once? We all have our heroes, and when we watch them fall, we die inside. She made a choice once, and I did not. Wow. The day we judged her, I stood in the chamber, and she was... She was so right. She was so certain of it. I doubted myself. But not now. She will never make me doubt myself again. But now... Now I am tired. I must meditate. Of course, mistress. I will tell the others you are not to be disturbed. And please, do not exhaust yourself. We can attend to matters here. Can I go meditate with the Sith holocrons? Let's go. I like that you can just glimpse it from here. Like, glimpsing the red. It doesn't look very fucking peaceful or pleasant in there, does it? Okay. So. Why have you approached me? I need to figure out how to get Handmaiden now. <laughs> I'm looking for a fight. I would welcome a chance to instruct you. I have been anxious to teach you many principles of combat ever since you invaded this place. I need to get... Oh, I, I should have got taken those gloves off of um, Bayo Dur. I don't know if it unequips the gloves, actually, if we do a hand, uh, unarmed combat. I could use a good sparring match. I'll say maybe another time, because hold on a minute. Um, I just want to see what's what's going on while we're here. So we've got the Handmaiden Sisters. So this is our opportunity to do some Ach Achani-related stuff. And I'm curious as to what else we can do around here before we leave. So we'll have a look around and see what we see what kind of trouble we can get into. Did you find what you came for? Wisdom check. That depends. What was I supposed to find here? There was something from your past here, something unresolved. This woman who resides here, she did something to you once. Okay, let's have a look. Okay. 
She means me harm. I may have to kill her. Ah, killing such a one could prove difficult. And yet she distracts you, that is clear. You're cunning. How would you end such a distraction? Direct action is not always the best way. Yet all that lives feels. And what is her weakness? Why you, of course. Be her foil, her challenge. I did not realize that I had affected her so deeply. Oh, yes. Natural leaders do such things to followers. I will consider this. For now, let us go. Very well. Let us depart. <sighs> what happened to Atten? He's only sleeping. All right, then. Let me free you. Have lost consciousness in the crash. Ah, I want to gain his influence and not lose it, so I'm just going to be like, oh, it's okay, Atten. I mean, it's okay, Bear. There's nothing to apologize for. I'm fine, General. What is this place? Not now. No telling who might be listening. Of course, General. Okay. Um, come with me, then. I could use your help. Very well. Okay, choose two members of your party. Uh, you and you. Influence gained with Bayer There you go. And Craig can go back to the ship. Okay. So I guess we'll try and gain influence with Bayer Der, but we have to do nice things to, get, to gain influence. It's hard. <laughs> You wanna you wanna be evil, but then you're like, oh, I wanna appease this guy. Alright, this is the Achani training room where I can I've got Master Flurry, so I think we might actually stand a decent chance at actually being able to do uh, the Achani training. Which will be fun. And uh, now that Bayadur is my party, actually, if I take those uh, gauntlets off. And I put them on my character. Um, I believe I should be able to have an advantage with the fist fighting. Although I don't have a feat. Uh, I don't have the dueling feat. So we'll see. But we'll loot this place, do the Achani training. Uh, I'm pretty sure because I have the mod installed, it should then trigger Atrus's instruction for Handmaiden to follow me um, onto the ship. And then I can work and build on the relationship between the Exile and Hayden, Handmaiden. And it should be fruitful. There she is. Okay. You are the Exile. The one Atrus warned us about. Atrus is the one you should be worried about. She said you betrayed the Jedi by going to war when it was forbidden to you. You turned on your masters, your teachings, and yourself. <laughs> She's just teasing you. I'm more like a sister to her. <laughs> that is not all she says. I haven't completely fallen to the dark side, yet. I still got points to go. Atris says that you fell to the dark side in the Mandalorian Wars when you gave in to your lust for battle. If that were the case, I would have fought in the Jedi Civil War. Atris says when the Dark Lord Revan returned to the Republic, you did not march with him because you had fallen so far you could no longer feel the Force. The Force aside, I was tempted to attack the Jedi, but I didn't. So it was a matter of choice, then. I'd rather jab myself with a both than stun her. What else did she accuse me of? I believe that is the extent of her expressed feelings toward you. Expressed feelings? Yes. So Atrus does not know her own heart? Without having seen you and Atrus fight, I cannot say. Battle is a pure form of expression. So if I crushed Atrus's skull into the floor, that might get to the heart of the matter? <laughs> I do not think the battle would go as you describe. But in essence, yes. In battle, the words are swept away. 
Enough of this, I had other questions. You may ask. You look different uh, than the other women here. I honor the face of my mother. So you have a different mother but the same father? I do not wish to discuss it. It is not a sensitive subject, but a subject that requires trust. We're gonna build on that trust, no baby. You may. How does Atrus allow me to walk freely? I could kill you all, easily. I am aware of this. There are many who went to war against the Mandalorians, and few returned. You are right to fear me. I do not fear you. Is it a fight you, you seek? The Ichani believe you cannot truly know the heart of another unless you meet them in battle. But now is not the time. Ah, so she doesn't want to challenge us, yes. Uh, Before you yet. go, Exile, question for you, if I may ask it. You have touched the Force. What does it feel like? I only know what its loss feels like. Then tell me of its absence. This is really cool because I'm gonna, I did this earlier, but I'm gonna draw another comparison to Kenobi, which is when Leia asks Kenobi of what does the force feel like? And he's like, have you ever been in the dark and you know, you turn on the light and how do you feel? You know, it feels like that. I love how he describes that to Leia. And then we've got Handmaiden talking to the exile being like, what is, to tell me about what is the absence of the force is like, you know? And saying like, it is like feeling warmth on the skin, then being buried alive. I see. Thank you, Exile. Okay, that was a mixture of dark and light in there. I think that's because we, like, apologized to her at some point in time. <laughs> uh, so Handmaiden won't fight us, but her sisters will. So let's engage in some some well, fighting. Hey, do all these women look alike? <laughs> Not like I'm complaining, I mean, it's... well, it's, uh, interesting. If you have a reason for approaching me, speak it. I'm looking for a fight. I would welcome a chance to instruct you. Alright, let's go. I could use a good sparring match. Very well. Follow me. Okay, here we go. Ooh, look at my outfit! What the hell? Before we begin, are you familiar with Ichani traditions? Dude! That looks sick. Can I just wear this normally? That looks awesome. I love the black and red outfit. Where did I get that? Why do I have that? Hell yeah. Yes, if you're ready to fight, so am I. The fight will be with hands and feet only. Also, do not call upon any Jedi techniques to in turn. I will not use our higher forms. Okay, enough talk. Let's fight. Then let us begin. What is this outfit that I have on? It's just nothing. Interesting. So that's different to the outfit from the beginning of the game. Wild. Anyway, with the Gamorrean gauntlets on, uh, 8 to 20 damage with an 11 to hit. Nice. That's not bad, actually. Because I, I have the unarmed specialist feet as well, don't I? Oh, nice, yeah. These these Master Flurries are good. Honestly, I could probably just... ...be an unarmed superstar if I wanted to. But then it's funny, because then I just go through a massively long period of just missing all of my attacks for ages. <laughs> Bayo Dur, why are you standing in the arena, dude? Stand back. I'm gonna win! I'm gonna win! I'm not gonna actually win this time, let's go! Fuck yeah, dude! I, have succeeded. I wish to challenge you again. Seek one of us- Alright, I gotta heal up, apparently. Dude! The temptation to just run around with no clothing on and no bonuses just because you look cool is amazing. Look at my dark side outfit. Have you returned to fighting? 
Yes. Very well. Our next battle will be using the higher forms among the Ichani. You may choose hands and feet, or Ooh. whatever melee weapon you wish. And we can use a melee weapon. Then let us be. Okay. Um. So eight to twenty damage with an eleven to hit. But if we put our, I think it's the vibro sword. Five to seventeen with a plus fifteen to hit. Nice. Cut them to pieces. Let's go. So this is good because we lost the first Ach Achani match in the uh, original playthrough, and then we didn't actually pr um, we didn't actually pursue it further. So this is good that we actually get to do this. You have succeeded. Nice. I wish to challenge you again straight away. Very well. Our next battle shall be free of restriction. In turn. Nice. All right. I can use I can use everything now. No restrictions. Okay, in that case, I'll put my clothing back on. And instead of using these gauntlets, I'll put this back on. Can I... I can use skills as well then? Alright, let's go for night speed. <laughs> as soon as as soon as this comes into the mix, you're not gonna. Uh, yeah, <laughs> yeah. Here we go. I am. You know much of melee combat. You surprise me. And then we can go. I wish to challenge you again. There is nothing more that we can teach you from. Okay, nice. If you cannot defeat me alone, feel free to pair up. If that is what you wish, then we shall honor it. We shall see how you fight against a group of us. Use nice. whatever items. Oh, let's go. Okay, so we now fight multiple of them too. Well, I've got just the trick for that. Ah, my my clothes are off. My clothes are off. Yeah, nice. Okay. <laughs> so how about that force lightning then? <laughs> Oh man, this one <laughs> just hobbling out. She's like, I lost. <laughs> nice, dude. You are a strong opponent. Atrus was correct about you. I could take all of you on without breaking a sweat. One does not sweat in the polar regions of Telos. Get to back up those words. Then our last battle shall be the five of us against you. Oh my god, oh, why not all six of you? There is no need for the last of us to join in this fight. The weakest among us will only serve to diminish... The weakest us. among us. Did they just refer to Handmaiden as the weakest we among us? They one, did. We are five, not six. And that number should be enough for this lesson. Ooh, the shade at, at uh, Handmaiden just then. Sh throwing shade at Handmaiden for being the, the weakest. I'm ready. Very well. Actually, I'm probably not ready, but we'll just do it anyway. Oh no, I've got full force. That's okay. All right, nice. Hell yeah! Fighting five at once. Let's go. Okay. Um. So, start with a bit of start with a bit of horror. Oh god, we didn't get everyone. Start with a bit of horror again. Oh god. Oh god. Um. Oh god. I made a mistake. There we go. Nice. Um, I'm probably, I may lose. I may lose. We'll see. Okay. Two more. Mm. Yeah, we're in a bit of trouble. Oh. 
just gonna keep using these every time. We might be okay, actually. Nice. Oh, you said I could use items. So we're doing it. Nice. Just one left. We did it, baby. No Let's go. No more challenges. There is much we have learned from you. If we meet on the field of battle, we shall be prepared. Hell yeah. We just went through all of that. Love that. That was good. You have returned. Okay. There shall be no more mat. There is. Hell yeah. Okay. Good stuff. All right. I think with that one, uh, we can we can leave. So we've got our friends. We've done the done the Achani fighting. I'll just make a new save just in case, and then we'll leave. And then I believe Atra should instruct Handmaiden. Uh, to follow us. I expect that would be the case. That was fun though. I like that. Wait, how the hell do I get out of here? Oh, hang on. I think we we talked to the... These... They escort us out, don't they? Why have you... Uh, the Ebonhawk, where is it? ship is stored in the hangar. You... Okay. Um... Let me out of here. <laughs> Isn't it that we take the turbo lift, do we? Oh, hang on. I think it's this way. Actually, never mind. I don't think we take the turbo lift at all, because that's the way to outside. Up the top. Never mind me. Why have you Okay. Yes, this is the way to the ship. And my droid, yeah, right. Well, two, it, is three. it is unlikely the droid says you. Come on, Atten. This is my droid. Repair your behavior core. They didn't memory wipe you, did they? Okay. Look, I'm just glad I found you. She downloaded what from you? Your entire memory? That must have taken some time. You can fill me in later. Let's get you out of here. We'll see you at the Ebon Hawk. Go on, T3. Lovely little droid. Gain some light side points, but also some influence. I don't know if I really necessarily need or require influence with T3 in this playthrough, but it's hard to be rude to him because because it's T3 and I love him. But also those light side points, I can't I can't abide. I, I can't abide gaining them. You know what I mean? I just I just can't do it, and I keep gaining them, and that's a that's a problem. <laughs> that's a problem. Okay, let's go for the Deveronian Edge. And we'll keep that. Okay. Yeah, I, I don't know. It's, <laughs> it's hard. It's the, those moments where I forget that I'm trying to play a dark side character. Let's go. And I'm like, be nice to the droid. Okay, let's level up. Beta. Now, we'll go for toughness, I suppose. Get some more health in you. And then our next planet's going to be Narshadar, and that should be our opportunity to get Atten. Uh, in tune with the Force, I believe, you know. We have some decent influence with him at the moment, and there will be other moments on... Narshadar for sure, um, and then um, yeah, once once we awaken him, then we're, we'll we'll be we'll be good to go. I still need to build my own lightsaber first, but let's get on the ship. All right, let's leave the academy for good. Into the Ebon Hawk now, handmaiden. There's no Handmaiden cutscene, but I definitely have the mod installed. This is why we've made a save game before this, just to make sure that it can actually happen.
Let's see if Handmaiden snuck aboard the ship. Because I thought there was supposed to be a cutscene about it. Oh no, here we go. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This is the cutscene. Mistress? There we the go. Here, yeah. The handmaiden says not among us. She has left with the exile. Among us. There we go. Left? But why? Her oath. Her reasons are unknown to me. We will save her if we can. Some evils must be confronted. Yeah, baby. All right, female exile and handmaiden time. Well, now that we're off that Dajaric board of a planet, I say we burn sky until we see lines. What's with T3? What are you talking about? Maybe I'll keep you around after all. What does the machine say? Um, might as well show it. It's just history now. All right, so now we get our trial. That takes place. It's very interesting that there's so many chairs, but they're all empty. But look, it's Corazon, baby! Do you know why we have called you? Alright, so I get to actually go through the dialogue in this one, which is cool. Whatever the reasons, speak them or let me go. As Revan summoned you, so have you come full circle to return to the Jedi. Why did you defy us? The Jedi are guardians of the peace. And have been for centuries. Is Revan your master now? Alright, let's have a look. I'd slaughter every Mandalorian if I could, except Malachor did it for me. You refuse to hear us. We feel that your true understanding of what happened at Malachor 5 will only happen in time. You are exiled, and you are a Jedi no longer. There is one last thing. Your lightsaber. Surrender it to us. Surrender this. Bam! <laughs> Exile out. Much defiance in that one. You were correct, Kavar. Revan's influence has grown amongst the youngest of the Order. The war has touched them. It is as I feared. We have not lost a Jedi this day. I fear it is our teachings that may have led Revan to choose the path he did. We are not the ones who taught him. We take responsibility, Atris, not cast blame. The choice of one was the choice of us all. Yet they all stem from the same source. You are wrong. The dark side is not what I sensed in the exile. Yeah, Whatever the emptiness we felt she has was, changed. It was of the dark side. What would you have done with her, Atris? No. Although that may come in time. Malachor V should have been her grave. No. Yeah, this is awesome. Death. Many battles remain for that one, if what we have seen is true. We should have told her the truth. No good would have come from it, even if what you believe was true. Perhaps in many years we will call her before us and explain what happened to her, and how she may be healed. But she may never discover the truth. And that is the future we must accept. Nice. It's so good having the context of our, our character in, in these scenes. Jedi sure like their secrets, don't they? Yeah, that's cool, because, like, talking about how, like, it's very interesting to see how the, the Jedi interpret uh, our return, where it's like, Atris is, con like, convinced that it's of the dark side in nature, whereas the rest is like, no, there's, like, it's weird, there's, like, it's a wound, there's nothing there, because, it, yeah, it's... Like, the Force had died within us. It's so cool uh, to see how the different Jedi in the in that council thing are perceiving the events. So they knew what happened to me. They all do. Atris has a list of all the missing Jedi. Sure, display it. Master Rook, Dantooine, Nashada, Onderon, Korriban. Oh yeah, Master Vash, that's right. I was trying to wonder that, and then Telos. So, Karaban, and she, she was killed by... And then, yeah, that's the one that was killed by Sion in the cell. There you go. All those fools were there when I was sentenced. A strange coincidence. It is no coincidence. There is some larger plan at work here, and mm -hmm. we are looking into it. Oh yeah. So there's like, because all the Jedi have scattered in a chance to draw us out so that they, we can reconvene at Dantooine and then they'll strip us of our powers again. <laughs> then I say we forget the Jedi and go right for the Sith. Ah, and there she is. Those are Atris's records you have stolen. 
What the hell are you doing on our ship? I have come to join you. I can help you against this threat. Sister, you and yours are the threat. If it comforts you to believe that, then it is just me. And I am doing this against Atris's wishes. So you have betrayed her. I find that hard to believe. No, she speaks the truth. I don't recall asking you. That is your fault, not mine. Except dump her out of the airlock. <laughs> I tire of this. <laughs> yeah, me too. I'll be in my chambers. If she's coming with us, she gets the cargo hold. General. The cargo hold is enough. Okay, so this is the interesting choice, right? So... I'm gonna say, look, forget Atten, take the regular quarters, we have enough room. I don't know if that will end up losing influence with Atten, probably, but I need to gain influence with Handmaiden, this playthrough over everything, so she takes priority in this instance. Take the regular quarters, we have enough room. So that, I assume that means that she would take Vesus's spot, and Vesus would go to the cargo hold? It is no matter. Thank you for your kindness. Oops, I missed what that said. Probably something about Handmaiden's General, abilities. Is there a reason you don't carry a lightsaber anymore? When my lightsaber is returned to me, I will bear it. That's not your lightsaber anymore. You could build another one if you wanted to, but I'm not. It's, I'm not afraid of building a new lightsaber if that's what you think. I never said you were. I know this. A lightsaber is part of who you are. And how would we start? I think I can help you out there. Alright then, what do we need? We need a power cell, emitter matrix, lens and focusing crystal. Those parts are fairly common. Just bring the parts to me before you get started building it. I'll make sure they're usable. Nice. Okay. For the last time... So because I just gotta go through all of these character interactions now on the Ebon Hawk. First. Even if I didn't have to go first and somehow I didn't suspect you of counting cards? Yeah? <laughs> Got a minute? I'm a little busy here. What is it? Won't take more than a minute. Alright, I'll work. While you talk. Look, your friend, the Jedi? You know her from way back, don't you? Her? You mean the General? Yeah during the war, if that's what you mean by way back. Can't say I know too much about her, though. Better than anyone else on this ship. Just give me your opinion, okay? And don't laugh. I'm trying to work here, Atten. I was just wondering if you thought maybe she and I might... Being serious. You said you wouldn't laugh. Ooh. You are being serious. Atten, she was a general. I was just a tech. Well, what's your guess, then? I'm getting back to work. <laughs> hey, I'm being serious here. You think a guy like her and a guy like me? You're laughing at me? <laughs> Dude, Atten romance. The thing is that you've gone for a long time without a memory wipe. Most droids behave erratically under those circumstances. I know that. What was that? That's what I'm talking about. <laughs> oh man. Atten romance with uh, the female exile and us both being like dark side Jedi is actually a really interesting thing, but also Handmaiden. I need Handmaiden. I'm sorry, Atten. Utility droids tend to have a habit towards developing personality quirks. I am not pushing you around. <laughs> Don't worry. Bayodur probably knows what he's doing. Thanks for the vote of confidence. Go, Bayodur. Do the thing. You wouldn't guess it from the outside. I'll bet. Permanent constitution bonus. Right. There we go. Okay. Now, um, let's go here. Is Handmaiden in here now? Oh. Nope. Is Handmaiden in the cargo hold then still? Even though I offered the quarters. That's not wrong room. Oh, so she goes in here anyway, regardless. Yes, I am training. What are you so doing? That danger should strike. My body and my reflexes will be prepared. That, and I had forgotten how long hyperspace travel can be. You could always play Pazak with Atten. What do you mean, Pazak? What again? No, <laughs> I do not trust him. Look, I don't think anyone here trusts each other. That is untrue. You and the Iridonian trust each other. 
Or at least the Iridonian trusts you. Atris believed that the Iridonian held the knowledge to restoring Telos. Why? Bayer de? Yes. His skill with machines is something beyond which most can aspire to. I do not realize if you know what it means to have such a one respect and follow you. His stance, in many ways, mirrors yours. Yeah, wow. Well, because he was significant in Malachor V and in, in what took place there. Man, all of these seem very rude. Maybe you'd like to explain why Atrus is siphoning power to the Telos Academy? The reasons for such siphoning of power are complicated, and I do not know all the answers. But there is something greater being achieved. The teachings at the Academy must be preserved, even if it draws strength from Telos. Atrus thought Beodur was the key to saving Telos? Yes. His oh, this just goes back into another thing again. Okay, forget it. You may have. Why are you called the Handmaiden? We attend Atris. You are the last of them? I am the last of the Handmaidens. This is correct. Your skill is impressive, as is your devotion to your training. That is not entirely correct. Perhaps, once having known the ways of the Jedi, you may understand what occupies my thoughts. What do you mean? There is much knowledge on Telos, and only one of the Jedi remain. There is so much about their ways of battle, their forms, their stances, that may be lost forever if the last of the Jedi is taken from the galaxy. Let's see. And you would preserve it? Atris has already preserved it. There is much in their approach to battle that is worthy to be shared. Is, is this what occupies your thoughts? To the Ichani, battle is a means of communication. Stance, form, discipline are a means of expression and communication. I agree. It shows how far you are willing to go for your goals. It was to the Jedi traitor Malak. It was to the Jedi traitor Revan. When Terrus was destroyed, it showed Malak's heart through its execution and intent. Yet with Revan, there was the same commitment, but it was a subtle thing, like weaving threads in a tapestry or strokes upon a canvas. He spoke through battle and tactics in a way one could never do in words. I believe he was speaking to Malak in that final battle, though few knew it. Interesting. Revan turned on Malak, once a friend, and killed him. What stronger display than death for conveying one's sense of being betrayed by one's own student? I would have wished to have been there for that final exchange, and seen the truth of their conflict with each other. Revan and Malak were driven only by the dark side. But to say that seems an untruth, based on what I know of the Jedi. If there is no choice in the Force, then our teachings and our actions are for nothing, and I refuse to believe that is true. You may ask. Okay. Do you have a name? Before entering Atris's service, yes, I carried a name. What was it? It is not important. Okay. You should take value in yourself as well. We all have value in our oaths to others, and the promises we make. When importance is placed on the self, then by such acts the galaxy is unmade. There is some truth in what you say. Is that your judgment of me? If reasons of the self is why you turned away, then yes. Do you think that I lost myself when I disobeyed the Jedi? I do not know. Right now, the only question I'm asking myself is why I'm letting you stay. I meant no offense, but the question remains. <laughs> okay. Yep. So being nice to her is like, oh, slowly pushes us yes. with the light, but you may have no influence there. It is not possible to... Yes. Okay. Uh, we'll revisit that because we'll take we'll be taking Handmaiden with us, um, as well as um, Aten when we do Narshada. Um, so we'll we'll definitely try and get as many opportunities as possible to flesh out um, Handmaiden, get that influence up. All right. Let's repair. <laughs> 
two parts for HK. There you go, chuck them in there. And with that one, we'll bring this episode to a close. So we've completed Telos. As always, Telos is the planet where there's a lot that happens on, uh, you know, in the uh, remains above on the surface and then at the Telos Academy. There's a lot going on on Telos, uh, but we've completed that one now and we'll be heading to Narshadar in the next episode as well and seeing what takes place there. So we'll be taking Handmaiden with us primarily and uh, trying to get those influence points up while also being the dark side user that we are slowly but surely becoming with a little bit of light side points popping in here and there, especially when um, we're trying to be nice to specific characters. But we're going to get Atten um, awoken and then we'll actually be able to level him up so he can actually survive encounters. I think that would be um, preferable. <laughs> so thank you so much for watching this episode of Knights of the Old Republic 2, the Dark Side playthrough, and I'll see you next time.